Hi everyone, it's Mark from Wavelore Instruments here with part one of a series of videos intended to give you a closer look at the individual features of the upcoming Wavelore pedal steel guitar version 3. If you haven't already seen it, you may want to go back and look at the first video linked in the description. That video was an overview and couldn't get into too much detail without being ridiculously long, so I got a bunch of requests for more details on how the instrument will actually work, and it's got a lot of cool features, so I'm going to break them down into short, digestible videos that address those features individually. This first installment covers what's probably the most important and powerful feature of version 3, namely benders, which emulate the real instrument's ability to bend the pitch of specific notes independently of one another. That is, benders are MIDI key switches or controllers that can bend specific notes in specific ways. The simplest example is a suspension, where the third of a chord can bend to the fourth while the others are unaffected. This is a super common sound on a pedal steel. So you can hear that it kind of works like your traditional pitch wheel, but it doesn't just bend the entire instrument in parallel, rather bending things selectively. An equally common sound is a 1-4 progression. Using a different button, I can bend both the third and fifth of my C chord, that's E to F, and G to A, while leaving the C unchanged, resulting in an F chord. The same bender can also transform an F chord to a C chord by bending F down to E and A down to G, again leaving C at pitch. A bender can be set to change any set of pitches to any other set, and we have up to 12 of them available, allowing a variety of gestures. Just two to four benders can easily cover the sounds we typically associate with pedal steel guitar playing, but here's a quick rundown of a few more factory installed benders and their functions. Now I could be using key switches to trigger the bends, which you can do if you don't have access to assignable buttons or just prefer to have both hands at the keyboard. Notice also that I'll alter the speed sometimes using this slider.
So as you can see, creating these sorts of liquid sounds is just as simple as pushing the right button or key. But you may be wondering, is that it? What if I want to do this stuff in the key of, I don't know, E major? Well, it's easy to alter benders individually or altogether, and there are a bunch of ways to edit them. We'll get into editing and creating your own bender settings in the next video, but for now just check out how easily you can transpose them all with one controller. When I move this slider, you'll see on the control panel at left that all the notes change. So here we are in the key of E. Now since we all have our preferred ways of working, different makes of controllers and so on, you may also wonder how hard it is to change the controllers or key switches that are pre-assigned. Every bender has both a controller knob and a key switch knob, and they all have a MIDI learn function. Just set the knob to max and move the control or play the key you want, and that control source now invokes that bender. Controllers and key switches can also be auto-assigned or learned sequentially, but we'll cover that in the next video on editing benders with the control panel. So there you have the basics of how benders provide easy access to advanced chordal bending in version 3 of the Wavelore pedal steel guitar. The library will be available this summer 2021 for Contact 5 and higher. Until then, version 2 is on sale at our website, which is linked in the description, for just $49.99, and there will be both free and paid upgrade paths for all owners when it's released. See www.wavelord.com for more.